What's up guys, welcome back to Golf Simulator videos. Man, do I have an incredible home golf simulator build video for you guys today. And not just a home golf simulator build, a DIY home golf simulator build, because I did this all by myself. I'm gonna show you a time lapse of all of that, but there's so much to this video, make sure you stay tuned. So the kind of the showcase of this video is the indoor golf shop SIG Enclosure. This is the SIG 10. So many people ask about the Indoor Golf Shop products. We actually did a full package with these guys. So this is their SIG Pro Mat. I'm gonna show you the detail of all of this. We'll do a full walk around so I can show you guys how you know the quality is and how exactly it was assembled. This is their turf. But I have a surprise for you guys as well. We actually have an all new product you might have not seen yet. It's the BenQ LH820ST right above me. It's a laser light source 3200 lumen DLP projector, all right, that actually does 16 by nine and four by three. Like you see behind me, that's a four by three format. So it's kind of a first look at that projector. Now don't get me wrong, it's very well lit in here right now. I have to do that for the video quality. We'll actually take a video for you guys as well where you'll see it in the dark and that way you can see the quality of the image. But we're gonna do shot examples as well well, we have the SkyTrack Plus here. We're gonna take some shots so you guys can see, you know, how this exactly, you know, bounces back, what it sounds like. I think you're gonna be impressed. These guys are all about quality, not necessarily trying to be the lowest price. They're still very competitive. It was cool, because when I talked to them and I was trying to put together this package, you know, I asked them for a discount code for my viewers. Well, guess what? Down in the description and pinned to the top of the comments is a link and a discount code for the indoor golf shop, so check it out. These guys were really great when we were talking about putting together a package in my garage. So, first thing first, let's check out the time lapse of how I did this DIY home golf simulator build all by myself. Check it out. All right, so the first thing I did is laid my turf out so I could get my poles and corners all organized. Everything's color coordinated, so it's really simple to know what goes where. Then you get that enclosure material, drape it over top. You're gonna use Velcro just to tighten that all around on the front and on the bottom. And then you're gonna use ball bungees to actually attach it all the way around the back. Then you're gonna grab your screen, make sure that's facing in the right direction. You're gonna use ball bungees once again to go all the way around the outside. I actually installed all of them. I'm gonna grab my padding, put that all around the screen, line everything up with that SIG Pro mat, which only takes a few seconds to put together. Grab my projector, put that in a four by three format, hung my extension uh, mount, and basically got my computer, and did a little bit of adjustments to the projector. Once I got it looking good, I set down the SkyTrack Plus, and there I was hitting my first shot and I was ready to go. Probably took me maybe, I'd say just over an hour or so to get everything done, maybe an hour and 15 minutes. I really think you could do it in a lot less once you know what you're doing. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. Now let's just take a closer look at all of the components and just fitment of everything. One thing I wanted to point out right away is that you notice how I snapped those poles together. They're all color coded and everything, it's great. Well actually when you wrap them and they're, it's padded, so uh, it's built in, you just wrap it around. I thought that was really impressive that they had padding on that and then padded corners. And then also these included pads that are like a nice carpet material that Velcro right on. Um, you know, that, it's just that attention to detail, that, that really nice fitment of quality that I definitely appreciate. Um, and then you'll see my screen is, you know, it is, reasonably fit on there for you know only taking a whopping you know maybe 10 15 minutes to get it all dialed in um you know it looks pretty darn good i want to show you around the back i actually left this so you'll see i wrapped this all around all right it has very nice wrap around to give a clean look i left this undone so you guys can just kind of see the bungees all right and then all that flap goes around all right if i that would give that same clean look it's nice that they have that attention to detail as well. And it's a good looking material, you know, quality material, nothing's coming apart. Lots of Velcro, take your time, you know, and make it look the best that you want. Um, but it, you know, I think it's gonna be easy to disassemble as well. And then of course this turf that I got from the guys uh, is very lightweight. And so, and you can tell it's a quality pile and everything, um, but I just appreciated that it wasn't crazy heavy. It was easy to handle one person because it was cut in two pieces and then you just put it together and it fits perfectly inside of the SIG 10 enclosure. So it's one of those things you're doing a DIY home golf simulator and you know, turf is just tough to source a lot of times, you know? And this is cut and ready to go. So really, really nice. And then I wanna show the SIG Pro map. 
So the four by 10 mat that they provided, uh, the thing that I wanna point out that I think is very important is this tall pile of foam is very sturdy to stand on, but it's very lightweight. All right, and I mean, a lot of these mats have rubber and everything, and it's, it's nice quality stuff, but it's so heavy. Well, this is super lightweight um, and then sturdy at the same time. It's the same uh, style of turf, so it doesn't look like, you know, uh, much different than your normal turf that you're putting down your landing pad. And then the way that it goes together is really slick. They have these large, like, teeth cut out, and it just snaps together. So super easy to get put together and it fits really nice. And then this Sig Pro mat, this you know softy that they have, uh, if I step on it, you'll just see that it's just really forgiving. Not only is the pile, look how deep the pile is on it, but you're getting that you know nice pad that moves down when you hit the ball. So really, really nice. Now, I'm gonna show you how I did the projector. This is super temporary. Now, if this works for you guys, great. But I don't want you to do something like this unless you know it's secure and safe. But all I have is a simple two by six going across the top of my garage door frames. That's where the BenQ LH820 ST is mounted. Definitely not in perfect position by any means, but I'm dealing with the height that I have in a standard, you know, uh, extension mount that I had sitting around. So um, it works out really, really well. I mean, if you look at the image, I was able to get it to fit with just two tiny little, you know, black bars on the top and bottom. Honestly, I wouldn't even change it, you know. Um, and I'll turn the lights off so you guys can also see what it looks like here in a minute. And then all I have is, is HDMI cable running over here to a laptop. So this really simply ran. Um, and I think we're good to go. I think we're able to uh, show you guys some first looks hitting on this DIY home golf simulator. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, guys, now I want to put the SIG 10 in action along with the SIG Pro mat. You'll see that I changed things up a little bit. I actually turned off all the lights in the garage. I just have a single video light. That way it at least lights the subject myself up a little bit. And I changed to, uh, instead of a wide angle, just a standard zoom because I really want to give, you know, this BenQ LH820 ST at least a somewhat realistic look of what I'm seeing. Now, generally what you would do in this situation is just hang a narrow beam light over top of your hitting area it could be LED, um, it could just be a halogen bulb, and there's many different options out there to where you can just get a nice little narrow beam light uh, to light up your hitting area, turn all the rest of the lights off, and that's really gonna get your golf simulator projector the highest quality image. Remember, they can't produce black, so you need the dark environment to really let them shine. Now, when you have a laser source 3200 lumen projector, let me tell you, it does a pretty darn good job, even with a ton of ambient light. But we've got our SkyTrack Plus set up. I got my Sig Pro, you know, soft mat here. What I, I'm really impressed with this so far. I want to show it all in action. Pay attention to the bounce back. Pay attention to how quiet the screen is. I have all of the bungees in, every single one of them. You know, so it's nice and tight. The screen doesn't have any sag or wrinkles. And check this out. Stance mat is nice and sturdy. Um, just really happy with this whole package so far. I put a target down there at 155 yards. So I'm just hitting some eight irons. I'm tired. Um, you know, even though that was a, a great first shot, I'll take that all day. Um, even though, uh, you know, this is easy to set up. I had to empty my garage out, clean everything all up. So, um, you know, definitely a lot of work, uh, you know, when you had go through all of that. But once your space is ready and you're just assembling essentially and putting it all together, I mean, it's easy. Um, you know, I'm gonna try to hit down a little bit on this. That one I caught reasonably clean. Um, and I wanna kind of compress the ball like I normally would maybe outside um, and see what it's like. Man, I can really hit down on it and it actually feels like I'm taking a divot rather than hitting a mat, you know, and worrying about my wrists or anything. So um, still generating, you know, good spin. Usually I'm around 7,000, you know, with my eight iron. Um, I'm using just the SkyTrack software right now. Now, if I wanted shot detail for the SkyTrack Plus, I actually can pull that up. You now have things like, club path and face to path. 
um, optimal ranges for spin. Make sure you check out my SkyTrack Plus videos. Um, you know, I, I did a ton of coverage on the unit if you wanna see all of that. That's really not what we're here to show today. We're here to show this home golf simulator build. So let's take one more demo shot for you guys. I'll see if I can manage to hit maybe a, a little fade here um, with the eight iron. I like knowing that I can commit to the shot because of this mat. Oh, I don't think I held the face off enough on that. Come back. Come back. <laughs> I mean, it, it was turning just a little bit, just not quite as much as I'd like to see. Let's see what the path was and the face to path was on our SkyTrack unit, just so we at least have an idea. So you can see that my club path, 2.3, face to path, 1.8, and face to target, 0.5. So I got it moving outside two to three. I just didn't hold the face off enough to really give it the fade that I wanted to. Um, great having all that information. Um, you know, I'm gonna do maybe even a full round of golf out here on this setup. I'm interested to you know, see what you guys think. We'll hit driver, we'll use different launch monitors. Make sure you comment below and let me know what you wanna see. I'll set it up because that's the thing. If you buy this package, so you buy the SIG 10 package, you could get all this stuff and then add whatever launch monitor you want. It might be R10, MLM2 Pro. It might be a Unicore Mini, you know, a new Unicore Mini. It might be a Mevo Plus. I mean, there's so many options out there now. Um, you know, knowing that you could buy a package like this and set it up by yourself, DIY home golf simulator, and then you just add the launch monitor of choice. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I mean, I have so many requests for things like this. Make sure you comment below. Let me know what else you wanna see, you know, especially with this current setup that I have, and I'll make sure I get to it as soon as I can. As always, guys, I appreciate you watching. Stay tuned. There'll be a lot more coming soon.